now that we have the shutter system all cleaned up and ready to go, we're going to tackle the lenses next. So the Colibri was equipped with a three element lens. You've got your rear and you got the two in the front. To access the uh, front element, we'll have to unscrew the back area and I'm just going to use one of those rubber stoppers. Kind of grab it in and give it a twist and that will unscrew from the back of the front element. There we go. All right. So a few things to look for is you're gonna look for haze, you're gonna look for dirt, you're gonna look for um, any kind of uh, fungus buildup. And uh, that's what we're usually trying to clean if there is any dirt, luckily for this one, it actually didn't have any dirt uh, considering its condition it was when I first got it. So, but if it was any dirt, I wouldn't start cleaning it as of yet before blowing it off. And usually I would just use one of these little, um, um, I got this from the art supply years ago, but it's just... You'll get them from camera kits, uh, cleaning kits, and, and whatnot, and it just basically blows air uh, when you squeeze on it, and it usually gives you enough pressure to remove any dirt. So in this case, I would just take this and just gently blow it out, and um, for any kind of stubborn dirt, uh, I would use um, like a good brush that I could uh, skim off some of the dirt as well. Uh, but, you know, the really extra stubborn ones, I wouldn't until you kind of soak them with uh, soapy water is usually a good um, way of trying to get <clears throat> a lot of that uh, dirt off. Um, usually, you don't find a lot of lenses with extreme dirt like that to the point where you have to really uh, be aggressive with it. So, in general terms, you're going to find lenses in this kind of condition with a little bit of, you know, dirt specks and nothing that, you know, a little bit of air won't uh, solve the, uh, the issue. Uh, so, in this situation, I'm just going to use isopropyl alcohol. And it's pretty straightforward. It's 99%. Uh, uh, you can get it in any kind of pharmacy uh, that's nearby to your place and uh, just use that to clean Usually if I had any kind of um, heavy fungus trails and whatnot, I would normally use um, hydrogen peroxide and or use a mixture of both where I'll use hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, clean that up, let it sit for a little bit on it, you know, and then clean, uh, clean it off. Um, and then maybe if I really need it, I'll use the isopropyl alcohol again just to kind of clean off everything, wipe the surfaces off and uh, do the same thing and that usually should allow um, a full uh, full out clean for the uh, for the um, lens element. So to start I'm just going to grab a q-tip and I'm just going to apply a little bit of the isopropyl and usually I like to saturate just a touch nothing too extreme kinda wanna follow the edges as close as possible, kind of get anything that's in there. And I just kind of follow a circular motion. When it comes to applying it on it. If you search how to clean your glass element, especially with vintage gear rather than the modern lenses that you see on your digital cameras, uh, there's different different ways of going at it. And uh, I can't say all of them are right and all of them are wrong. 
it just depends on what's what needs to be tackled and how you go about it and the resources that you have near you at that point so definitely do your research see what works for you and then just kind of go with that I know some professionals will even say the old good spit and wipe off with a towel will be just as good enough to clean it than anything else so to each their own now in this situation you don't want to use Kleenex paper, tissue paper uh, to wipe off the um, the lenses. You kind of want to use like a microfiber um, cloth. This way, you're not damaging or scratching any of the uh, any of the surfaces. So again, just kind of follow the same circular motion. Try to get into the edges with your fingernail. And then just wipe it off. And like I mentioned, luckily I don't have to worry too much about dirt uh, or any haze. But the front element does seem to have a little bit of fogging, more like near the edges around here. And I'm wondering if it's just because it could be possibly the glue that's used to kind of keep these elements in place. But at that point, I really have no way of accessing it, nor reattaching the element if I do decide to go in that route. So for now, I'm not too concerned. Sometimes it won't affect your images too much. There might be a slight softness on the edges of your pictures, but I would not know until um, I take this out for a test run. The only thing is I have to find myself uh, a roll of 127 film, uh, which is, I've heard, is having a comeback, but uh, I can definitely find some new stock, and uh, once I do, I'll uh, make another video of me taking this camera out after it's all done and you can see some of this dirt is already on this so I'm just gonna change spots there we go but yes once I get an opportunity to get myself a fresh roll of 127 film by all means I am looking forward to take this camera out and give it a test run and see how you know how it really works and never shot with 127 film either so it will definitely be a treat for me so just cleaning the back element That's really all that's to it. And this is a simple lens, so it's not going to take, uh, require too much of your time uh, to actually, you know, take this apart and clean it. Uh, now to just put it together, we're just going to, you know, place these two back together. What I would normally do, this is an extra option. Some people might do it, some people might not, is just put it touch just a little touch of grease onto the uh, onto the screw itself for me it just adds extra assurance for if I do need to um, CLA it next time uh, I would be able to access it but all you really need is just a dribble and you can barely see it I just kind of put it on three points so when I do screw it on it will just spread 
just like so. And since everything is kind of um, already in its body and I don't have to remove any of the lenses, it's just pretty much straightforward lining it up to its thread. Make sure you're not forcing anything and just I'm just working the grease just a little bit so this way. Just hand tighten it. I might just get the, the rubber stopper again just to ensure that it's tight. You don't want to over tight it but just tight enough that where it was when you first got it. So that's end together and I'll also apply just a little bit of the grease again on the threads. In order to and again I'm just being very stingy with it per se. I'm just this is the back element, so I'm just gonna screw this back on here. Again, you just kind of follow the threads. You're not you don't want to overdo it. So you don't damage the threads on the lens. Because once that's damaged well, it's going to be really difficult to replace it or fix it. There might be tools to be had that you could rethread it, but at that point, why go through such a headache? Right. And then the front elements. Again, you're just going to want to find the thread. Alright. Just want to apply just enough pressure to kind of put it in. That is it. As you can see, it's nice and clean, or as clean as you can possibly get it. And this lens, it's pretty much ready to take out and shoot with. So, thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned as I will be taking the main body apart and just cleaning it off, getting all the grime and dirt and uh, off the body and the barrel that this attaches to. And uh, hopefully in the next uh, video it will be uh, uh, the last part for... Uh, putting this uh, camera together. Alright, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again.